welcome welcome to pratham science academy classes and in this video we are going to start exercise 7.6 and this is based on integration by parts so what is integration by parts and <clears throat> so it's basically the integration of the product of two functions and let's say if we have two functions f of x and g of x then their integration can be written as first function into integration of second function minus integration of differentiation of first function into integration of second function and this whole has to be integrated with respect to x so this is integration by parts and in this case the order of the first and the second function it matters and in order to make sure that which should be our first and which should be our second function so we will use this acronym that is i laid and i stands for inverse trigonometric function l is for logarithmic functions and A is for algebraic functions. T is for trigonometric functions. And E is for exponential functions. So we'll keep our functions in this order. So if uh, that is the preference will be given to the inverse trigonometric function so that should be kept as the first function if it's missing then log will be kept as a function and if it, this is missing then algebraic and then trigonometric and the <coughs> exponential function at the end so let's try to find uh, integration of e raised power x into sine x into dx using integration by parts so if i check this acronym once again it says that the trigonometric function should be the first function so this should be the first function and this is in the end as per the order so this should be the second function so i'm going to write this as sine x into e raised power x into dx so this is our first function this is our second function and now we are going to use uh, integration by parts so which say that integration of these two functions the part of these two functions is first function into integration of second function minus integration of differentiation of first into integration of second function and this whole has to be integrated once again so this gives us sine x into integration of e raised power x is e raised power x differentiation of sine x is cos x integration of e raised power x is e raised power x into dx okay so once again we need to integrate this using integration by parts so we will once again use integration parts integration by parts on this so let me just put in the bracket here so uh, if i check this second once again i laid it tells me that the trigonometric function should be the first function and this should be the second function so i'm going to use it once again it's first function into integration of second function minus integration of differentiation of first into integration of second function and this whole has to be integrated so i'm going to close the bracket so this is sine x into e raised power x minus cos x integration of e raised power x is e raised power x differentiation of cos x is negative sine x integration of e raised power x is e raised power x okay into dx so I started with i so let me just consider this was the integral i so this is i and i started with 
i is equal to sin x into e raised power x into dx. Okay, so i is equal to sin x into e raised power x minus this is cos x into e raised power x negative negative is plus so this is sin x into e raised power x so let me open the bracket so i is equal to sin x into e raised power x minus cos x into e raised power x and if i if i open the bracket so this is integration of sin x into e raised power x once again and if we check the integration that we started in the beginning we assume this to be i so let's say this is the integration i so i am going to write instead of doing this again i am going to write because we came back to the same integral that we were doing so instead of this i am going to write negative i so let me just shift this to this side so it's 2i is equal to sin x into e raised power x minus cos x into e raised power x plus c okay so <clears throat> now the integral should be sin x into e raised power x minus cos x into e raised power x plus c and this has to be divided by 2 we will divide c by 2 but this will again be constant so we will just keep it as c because c by 2 is once again constant so we will you divide these two terms with 2 and just, we will just keep c as c so e raised power x is common in these two terms so e raised power x by 2 into sine x minus cos x plus c is the integration of e raised power x into sine x okay so this is how we are going to use the integration by parts and we are going to get one more type of integral in this so that is the integral of let's say the type if we are going to let's say if it's e a is power f into f of x plus differentiation of f of x into dx if we are getting this type of integral so the integral of this should be written as e raised power x into e raised power f of x plus c that's it okay let's try let me just try to make it clear with this example let's say it's e raised power x into 10 inverse x plus 1 upon 1 plus x square into dx and we have to find the integration of this so this clearly shows that 1 upon x plus x square is the differentiation of this. So let's say if f of x is our function tan inverse x, then f dash x, that is the differentiation of f of x is tan inverse x is f of x square. So this is of the form f of x plus f dash x. And this simply can be written as according to this formula it's e raised power x into f of x plus f dash, f dash x that is the differentiation of f of x can be simply written as e of x into f of x so solution for this should be simply the product of e raised power x into f of x that is tan inverse x plus c so this is the one more type of integral that we are going to uh, deal with in this exercise and <clears throat> I think by this time we are uh, very much clear how to do the integration by parts. Let's move, move on to the exercise. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe.